Welcome to the Food and Travel Enthusiast channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my fried dumplings. Stay tuned. So in a bowl, put one cup of all-purpose flour and to that add half a teaspoon baking powder and half a teaspoon white sugar or brown sugar and about a quarter teaspoon of salt and then I have one tablespoon of butter and then I cut those in cubes and you're gonna see me now rubbing them with my fingertips to make sure that the butter is distributed in the flour and you just mix those together and make sure that all the flour um, is coated with the butter as best as possible so you can see my hand motion as I try to show you exactly how to rub those together and then we mix all the ingredients together nicely So now we're going to add cold water to our mix and so you just add a little at a time. You will need just a little bit more than half a cup of cold water depending on the batch size. This recipe will make about four fried dumplings and um, if you want to make more, you just double the batch size um, and double the ingredients. So there you see I'm kind of kneading the flour mixture with the cold water. You want to fold and press, fold and press. And you add little water at a time because you don't want your batter to be soft. And in the event it is soft, you just add a little bit more flour to the mixture and that should help with um, the stickiness of the dough if it's too soft so there we are just kneading in the tin adding some more cold water again you see I'm just adding a little at a time to prevent my dough from getting soft or too soft that is and this process takes about two minutes or so Once this is done, then you can just cover it with a cloth or a kitchen towel and let it sit for about 20 minutes. And there is the finished product. So there's no flower marks around and you just cover it as I said and so in a skillet you can deep fry it if you have a deep fryer or like I do here you just put enough oil that you have it would be best if you can get the, the dumpling to be totally submerged in the oil but there I am needing it again after 20 minutes So now I'm going to be showing you how I make the dumplings. So you're just going to portion out a small piece, depending on the size that you like. And then you're going to roll it and roll it. And then you're going to use, see my finger action where you kind of tuck in, tuck in and roll, tuck in and roll. And you do that until you get a smooth dough. Then I'm going to show you again the action. And this just lets the dumpling have a 
nice look in your plate and there you see I'm rolling talking talking again now I'm testing the oil with my spoon if you don't have a thermometer once you see the little bubbles you know you don't want it to be bubbling too hot and you do this on a medium to low flame and then you see I put my flour in so now I'm going to be serving this fried dumpling with some salted fish I poured some oil in a skillet and I have sweet potato sweet pepper mac and thyme onion garlic and I sprinkled some Creole seasoning on it and then we're just gonna saute that if you watch my other videos you will see how I prepare the salted fish so be sure to check out my macaroni and salt fish video to see how I prepared the salt fish so we're gonna saute this until the onions become translucent and all the flavors come out and then you know we're multitasking so we turn the flour or the fried dumpling you can see the golden brown color that we're getting right now on our medium flame because you want the dumpling to soak inside you don't want it to burn so once we turn those then we come back to making our salt fish or cook up salt fish so now I'm going I didn't have any tomatoes fresh tomatoes so I added some sun-dried tomatoes and that will give it some flavor as well and then you mix those and then you go back and add your salted fish and once you add your salted fish then you just stir it try to debone it so you don't have the bones sticking you while you're eating and you just mix it in to give that flavor i hope everyone is having a good day if you like what you see here be sure to subscribe like follow share comment where you're watching from and let me know how you like our recipes so i've added some creole seasoning and black pepper to our salt fish mix and then i'm going to be adding some tomato ketchup to give it that red color since i do not have any tomatoes and you just combine those and add a little bit of water to give it some gravy to eat with your fried dumpling and you just stir those in and within three to five minutes this is ready and so now we're going to go check on our fried dumpling turn it on the sides to be get best if you get a rubber th thong because these ones kind of slippery and as I said if you use the deep fry oil then it would be easy it will just float on top but be sure to use that medium heat to get the right consistency in the middle and you're just gonna spin those if you use a skillet like I did And then you're just gonna spin it one more time and then you can just cover it and let it steam turn your flame to low low you may be wondering that small one is just our tester and so there after three minutes that's the finished product of the cook up salt fish and so now we go back to our fried dumplings and I'm going to be showing you our tester which is a small one you just spin those again and cover it and let it steam and 
there you go see inside all soft and cooked and so then within a minute you just remove the rest of the fried dumpling and then I'm gonna be showing you you make sure to put that on some napkin and then there I'm showing you how to plate So I put some of the salt fish mixture in and then I'm going to put three of my four fried dumplings. I didn't count the small one because that one was just a tester and I ate it as I took it out. And so there is the finished product and now I'm showing you what it looks like inside. All cooked and soaked. And then you can just break it apart and put it in or you can break it piece by piece and soak up all that gravy from the saltfish. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.